Hey, I recently had a subscriber ask me, where can I find my iCloud subscription? The one where Apple is charging me every single month for storage. They want to be able to downgrade and they want to be able to cancel that storage fee because they're tired of that reoccurring expense and the elevated monthly expense that keeps happening every time they use more storage. Well, that video is going to start right now. Hey everybody, this is Sean Seymour, and if you're new to my channel, I do how-to videos about frustrating or cool things with technology and stuff about photography and video. And in this video, I'm going to cover iCloud storage and where you can find the subscription settings so that you can either downgrade or cancel or upgrade if you want to the storage capacity and thereby the fee that Apple charges you every single month. I don't know about you, but I went from not needing any storage to all of a sudden being charged 99 cents every month to now I'm being charged 299 and that is even filled up. Where is all this storage going? Well, that's going to be a different video, but in this video, let's hop on the phone. I'll show you where you can find those subscription settings and then you can do whatever you need to do from there. Okay, to find your iCloud storage settings, we're going to go on the phone and we're going to go to settings. Then you'll see up there under your name, Apple ID iCloud Media and Purchases. Let's click on that, and if you go down below subscriptions, let's click on iCloud, and then click on manage storage. Right there below share with family, it says change storage plan. Let's click on change storage plan, and here is where we get our current iCloud subscription. So right now I'm paying $2.99 a month and that happened to me pretty much automatically last month. I didn't even realize it but I got upgraded to $2.99. Either I clicked on something or they did it to me automatically. I don't remember but here I can say hey I want to downgrade my option or I want to upgrade my option. Maybe I want to go to $9.99 a month. Let's downgrade our options by clicking on downgrade options and now you see that I have the ability to go back to free which is five gigabytes or I could be charged 99 cents a month for the 50 gigabytes. When you click on one of those, you'll notice that it turns blue and now you're going to be on the 99 cent plan. I'm going back to the $2.99 a month because I don't know yet what's going to happen to all the data that I do have there. But check with me on an upcoming video because I'll show you how you can actually clean your iCloud and off of your devices so that you're not paying that extra money every month. My belief is that if you don't do that, you will just continue to grow in storage fees to the point where you're paying that $9.99 a month. And if you think about it, that is a great revenue stream for Apple. So go out and buy some Apple stock if that's your deal. I personally don't want to have to pay that every month. So I'm going to keep cleaning my phone, but that'll be in another video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you know what to do. Like button, but also subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this. I do a lot of how-to videos. And until I see you on the next video, please upgrade, downgrade, or pick whatever storage plan you want. And keep it simple, my friend. Ooh. Let's try and hit that. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it simple.